Hey, this is Mr. Ward, and this is a key for Geometry Do Now 20.1. So you're going to need a postulate. Now, a postulate is a fancy pants way of saying something we can assume. Postulates are things like you can assume a straight line is a straight angle. Uh, so a postulate, there's a postulate on pairs of alternate, alternate interior angles. Postulates are things you can assume. We don't actually have to prove them, uh, though in many cases we could. Um, and here is the postulate. You'll see the letter P in front of it in this book. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, that is a line that cuts through two or more lines, if they are if cutting through two parallel lines, that's key. You have transversals going through any pair of lines. But if they're going through parallel lines, then each pair of alternate interior angles are congruent. This is the PAI, pairs of alternate inter interior angles. <clears throat> now, let's break down what the heck that means. And also note this symbol here means that these are parallel lines. You've probably run into this before. Now, <clears throat> these angles are called interior angles because they're between the parallel lines. That makes them interior. If they were outside here, they would be called exterior angles. And then they're called alternate interior angles because they alternate sides of the transversal. So this one's on this side, this one's on this side. So one and two are alternate interior angles. And there's another pair of alternate interior angles here and here. And then of course this and this would be an alternate exterior angle and this and this would be alternate exterior angles as well because they're outside the pair of parallel lines. So we need to prove using the parallel pairs of alternate angles, uh, pairs of alternate interior angles postulate or PAI um, to prove theorem 25. And here's theorem 25 and theorems need to be proved, uh, need to be proven. Uh, they are things that require a proof. Uh, so if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, each pair of alternate exterior angles are congruent. This is the PAE, alternate exterior, pairs of alternate exterior angles, that they're congruent. So we've been given that A and B are parallel lines, and we're supposed to prove that angle 1 and angle 8 are congruent. This is fairly simple to do uh, because we can demonstrate. I'm going to blow this up a little bit so it's easier to see. There we go. We can actually demonstrate that this angle is congruent to this angle. Okay, and then we can also demonstrate that this angle is congruent to this angle by the vertical angles theorem. So after the givens, the vertical angles of angle one and angle eight, well, the vertical angle, let me just say this, the vertical angle of angle one is congruent to angle one by vertical angles theorem. Okay, and the vertical angle of angle eight is congruent to angle eight by the same reason. <clears throat> now, now we have two alternate interior angles, and these are going to be congruent by the PAI, the pairs of alternate angles, uh, alternate interior angles uh, postulates. So those two vertical angles are congruent because they are a pair of alternate interior angles and the PAI postulate finds them as congruent.
Okay, now, <clears throat> once we have that, we can simply say that uh, angle one is, do that again, angle one is congruent to angle eight by transitive. Because if angle one is congruent to this angle, which is congruent to this angle, which is congruent to eight, then eight is congruent to one. So I'll go ahead and mark it up a little bit. So these are congruent to these, okay? Because these two are congruent then, and these are congruent to this and this, then these are congruent to each other. One and A are congruent. So we have now proven the pairs of alternate exterior angles uh, theorem, which is theorem 25 in this book. Now we're gonna take a look at <clears throat> theorem 26. And theorem 26 is uh, the, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, they're parallel lines, each pair of corresponding angles are congruent. So these angles here, they're like in a rhyming pattern. These two angles are congruent to each other. They are, is what this is saying. And these are corresponding angles. These would be corresponding angles to this, and this would be a corresponding angle, and this, and this would be in a corresponding angle pair. So we can start by demonstrating the givens. So after the givens, okay, like we know that these are parallel lines and that's a transversal, what we can start doing is we can uh, start marking this up. So we can actually start with and start with the vertical angle for angle one is congruent to angle one by vertical angles. Okay, and because mark it up here. So this angle here is congruent to this angle here because they're vertical angles. Now you might see immediately that I'm, gonna, I'm just going to call this angle four for the heck of it. So we have a number so we can refer to it. You, if you don't have a name for things, you can give them a name. So now I'm going to say that now we can say angle four is congruent to angle five by the, uh, because there are alternate interior angles. Because they are alternate interior angles. Okay, and so that's the PAI postulate. Okay, and once we've done that, we can easily say that angle one is congruent to angle five because, and I'll go ahead and I need to mark this up. Angle four and angle five are congruent. So if angle four and five are congruent and angle one and four are congruent, angle one and five are congruent by transitive. So we can say angle one is congruent to angle five by transitive property. Okay, and that is all you need for that proof. And that has demonstrated that uh, pairs of corresponding angles, the PCA, uh, pairs of corresponding angles are congruent. And that supports theorem 26. All right, I hope that has been helpful.